So, right before Jurassic World Dominion hit the cinemas, a new Jurassic Park canon website was released called DinoTracker.com. Now, this was a cool little website just to explore Easter eggs, references, canon. It was a really cool website. And basically, it just had dinosaur sightings all around the world, from the Giga to the Achosaraptors to the Brachiosaurus to the T Rex. Now, one dinosaur that people really, really wanted to return in Jurassic World Dominion would be either A, the Spinosaurus, or B, the Ceratosaurus. Now, these dinosaurs, of course, didn't actually return, sadly. But the most anticipated one of all time would be the classic Spinosaurus that we saw all the way back in Jurassic Park 3. There were so many plot leaks and theories before Jurassic Dominion came out saying it would be back just to get killed by the Giga or it would kill a T-Rex again or help Rexy defeat the Giga. So many of them and none of them came true. As we know, Jurassic World Dominion was supposed to come out in 2021 but because of the pandemic it got delayed another year. So some of those theories could have been correct and I'll tell you why. So just a few days ago a new unused image for the Spinosaurus was released to the public. Now this image is not canon anymore I believe and it was deleted from the website but it was originally planned to be on the website and it was a Spinosaurus sighting on Isla Sauna. Now as we know that Spinosaurus was actually transported to Manticorp Island so people are confused like why is there a Spinosaurus on Isla Sauna? Is there two Spinosaurus? Well, I believe that this image is actually taken in the early 2000s, just like the Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon sighting was, as the graphics are pretty poor and the Spinosaurus colouring looks relatively similar to the Jurassic Park 3 variant. Now, as we saw in Jurassic Park 3 that all the buildings were shut down, so how did they get this image? Well, I'm theorising that there was somehow a camera that was still in working condition and actually managed to capture this shot of the Spinosaurus. And later on when the Spinosaurus got transported to Manticorp Island, maybe someone went to Isla Sauna, found this camera and took the image to post online. So what we know is this image was shot maybe 2001, 2002 or maybe 2004. This image is not a brand new image from the 2022s. Spinosaurus as we know is still on Manticorp Island during the events of Jurassic Dominion and Fallen Kingdom. This image is quite an old image, just like the Pteranodons that we saw in GP3 when they were on the sightings. Now, we do know the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors are actually indeed on the mainland. In fact, you can actually see the tail of them in the motor scene. You can actually see a GP3 Raptor tail in the background. So they were in the motor scene as well, the Jurassic Park 3 Raptors. But sadly, they got caught and probably getting forced to fight other dinosaurs. So I don't know who got this image. I don't know what character did in the storyline. I don't know how it even got posted online. We do have an unused Spinosaurus image. Now, if this was used, if this was put in the website, does that mean Spinosaurus was supposed to be in Jurassic World Dominion? As we know, there was loads of content creators theorizing that it's going to return, plot leaks, but it never happened. Now, I'm thinking that this website was planned ages. All the Jurassic Dominion marketing apps and websites were planned all the way back in 2021 when the movie was set to be released. But obviously because of the pandemic it got delayed another year and we've only just got this image now. So I do believe that Spinosaurus was supposed to be in Jurassic Dominion or some sort of reference or mention or at least something surrounding the Spinosaurus. Now ultimately it got scrapped probably because it didn't really fit in the storyline since the Giganosaurus is the main antagonist. Spinosaurus was actually for Count Cretaceous as well with the Manticorp situation. So I understand why Spinosaurus wasn't in Dominion but was it supposed to be? Now at the end of the day it's still a really cool image that they were planning to show it on the public. I don't know why it got scrapped, I really don't know, like I said maybe it just didn't fit in the storyline and there was no point. But I don't think there's two Spinosaurus, I believe there's only one Spinosaur and that was the one that we got greeted all the way back in 2001 and also got transported to Manticorp Island and that image was taken when it was on sauna, probably events of Jurassic Park 3 or a bit after or a bit before, I don't know. But yeah, honestly, I'm actually pretty chuffed that we actually got a Spinosaurus image. I thought that Universal was so scared to bring back the Spinosaurus, but nope, they've shown that they can bring it back. They brought it back in Camp Cretaceous, it did some cool action, and, it, and the last we saw it was it ran off because the two T-Rexes confronted it. So, I believe Spinosaurus isn't out of the game just yet. I believe it will come back in the future. I don't know what Jurassic Media it will return, maybe another film, short film. Or another TV show or a spin off Camp Cretaceous show that actually just got confirmed about a week ago. Now, I'm gonna end this video. It was actually very exciting to make this video because this image was game breaking at this point. What do you guys think about this image? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you think it was supposed to be in Jurassic Dominion? What is your whole thoughts on this whole Spinosaurus image? 
leave it down in the comments below please make sure to like like and i'll see you guys in the next video